Thank you, thank you. Um, I really like to thank the committee for having me for the second year in a row. I remember um, last year, confusion and certain uh, fishes in space when they were asking me why would a pet food sponsor an allergy conference. And the reason is after 10 years of research, Nestle Purina launched a cat food that reduced effectively FLD1, active FLD1 in the mouth of cats, hence decreased allergies on humans. So today's agenda, very quickly, we are going to establish the cause, establishing the major culprit, and then we are going to deep dive in the studies that have been done on Leaf Clear uh, very quickly for the sake of time. So globally, we are encountering approximately 20% of the global population that is impacted with cat allergies. This number is increasing year on year and it is the most common animal origin allergen in the world. And the reason I am here today is to demonstrate that giving up the cat is not the only solution. For instance, yesterday I spoke with approximately 20 physicians and all of them, or I would say 90% of you were telling me the first advice you give to a cat owner, cat allergic patient, is to give up the cat. You will impact the mental health of your patient. You will impact the mental health of cats. You will also impact the um, abandon rate in the UAE of cats. Shelters are getting overcrowded. And LeafClear would be an additional solution to your treatment plan. So the major culprit here is called FLD1, as uh, many of you know. It accounts for 95% of human allergic uh, sensitization to cats. So the way it works is it's produced primarily in the uh, salivary glands of cats when they are grooming themselves, once they are toileting themselves, they spread this protein on the hair, then the hair gets released into the environment, sticks to the curtains, carpet, and then the protein stays for approximately 20 weeks. All cats produce FLD1, no matter the age, the breed, the sex. And there is this marketing spree that has been quite booming in the UAE lately about hypoallergenic cats. This is something typically marketing, but all cats produce FLD1. The key scientific evidence we wanted to neutralize FLD1, but not stop it. The reason why we still don't know, as the day of today, what is FLD1 or what is FLD1 doing for cats. So we wanted to stop it, not to stop it, but to neutralize it as its source, so in the cat mouth. Multiple studies have been done in vitro ex vivo, but today we are going to cover preclinical done on cats and clinical done on humans. The first study is here on the uh, screen. We took 20 cats. 10 were fed a control diet. 10 of them were fed the test diet, which is leaf clear. They were put up on those diets for a period of four weeks. And you can see a drastic decrease of active FLD1 after week three and week four, approximately 24% of reduction. Once we established that active FLD1 in the cat's mouth has been lower on the test diet. We involved 105 cats, took them baseline for a period of three weeks, and then we fed those 105 cats for 12 weeks. At week three, we could see a massive decrease of active FLD1 in their oral cavity, and the results are as show it. 97%, so almost all of them, seen or showed reduced active LD1 compared to their baseline. 86% of cats showed at least 30% of reduction, and half of them showed at least 50% of reduction in active LD1. The claim we, we are having on our packs is 47%. From week three till week 12, we are in average 47% of reduction in active LD1, but the range varies between 33 to 71. 
it depends on the cat and it is um, widely varying from a cat to another cat. So once we establish that this diet works, reduce the active LD1, we wanted to understand what is the impact on humans. So we chose 20 uh, humans allergic to cats. We exposed them in a closed chambers where they were sitting next to a blanket. This blanket was containing hair from a cat that was fed controlled diet. And then three weeks later, we changed and we exposed them to a blanket that was fed the test diet, leaf clear. We asked those 20 persons to note every 15 minutes for a period of three hours their um, symptoms. So total nasal symptom score, TNSS, that uh, regroup all of that. And the total, total ocular symptom score, which is itchy eyes, scratchy eyes, watery eyes. At the end of the 12-week uh, study, we could see that a significantly decrease in the total nasal symptom score, nasal congestion, scratchy eyes, and itchy eyes when they were exposed to the blanket that has hair that the cats were fed leaf clear. So very simple, this is your normal um, diagram when you see allergies. Cats produce LD1, get released into the environment, the patient get exposed and then the degranulation happens. What do we have on the table at the day of today? Cleaning products, cleaning the cat, bathing the cat, avoidance, as we know of you and recommend, immunotherapy and medication. However, all those options, I would say, have limited um, impact. This is why Leaf Clear happens before the active LD1 gets released in the environment. So just very quickly, uh, for references, if you have any question, I can take a few now, otherwise we have an exhibition stand. If you also know any relative that has a cat and is allergic to them, we can give you samples. And also if you know patients that would be interested to uh, try the food, we are more than willing to give you a, a bag. So this is how it looks. One for kitten, one for adult. How can you repurchase it? It's in vet clinics, most likely, and Amazon, depending on the um, Emirates that you are. We are only available in the UAE at the moment, because I know that a lot of you inquired from Saudi Arabia. And uh, that's it. Thank you.